Hi y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome to any new viewers. So if you follow me on social media, which the links are down below, you'll have seen a list of everything needed for today's project. So, I saw this in a store. I saw it at the Halloween Spirit Store and I fell in love with this idea because I am a huge, huge, huge Halloween person. So... I saw it and I thought, why not? So what we're going to do today is actually kind of something I did for Christmas last year. We're going to be doing a countdown to Halloween as opposed to a countdown to Christmas. So let's get started and I will show you everything needed for today's project. Alright y'all, I'm doing this different than the Christmas one because I don't want it to look exactly the same. So the items needed is a little square box. I got this one. It, it actually has three different sizes. I'll show you the medium size just so you can get what I'm saying. It comes in three different sizes. This one's the small, this is the medium, and then they have a larger size. And I never really could figure out what I wanted to do with them, but I was really excited to buy them. So I decided I'm going to use this box for this project. And like I said, it really came in handy, but you do not have to use this. You can use whatever you want so we're gonna use this hold on a second y'all anyways we're gonna use the box sorry I had a little difficulty and then we're gonna be using some Waverly ink a uh, Waverly chalk paint ink but you can use any black you want this is the one I'm gonna be using and then we're gonna be needing some Mod Podge because I'm going to be using some napkins, sorry, for this project, but if you don't want to use napkins, you can use just paper, Halloween paper, whatever you think would work, but I absolutely love this napkin, so that's why I'm going to be using this for this project, and then you're going to need... I'm going to be, um, I'm sorry, my brain's not working. I'm going to be using vinyl, my cut, my, my cut cow, I'm sorry, <laughs> my Cricut with vinyl for this project. You do not have to do that if you don't have a Cricut. You can just paint the, the stuff on there. You can use stickers. You can use, what else this was I going to say you can use? I'm sorry. My brain fried, but you can use... <laughs> I think those were it. You can use stickers or you can just paint the stuff on there, but I am going to be using my Cricut. <sighs> and then there's these little dice blocks. They come in a three pack. You're going to be needing two of those. And for embellishments, I'm going to be using these little Halloween shaped little figurines. These little Halloween figurines I've got from Timu. I absolutely love them. I think they are absolutely adorable. It's a kitty cat. I don't know if you can see the face is really hard. So, and then this pumpkin. I'm going to be using these to make it look more Halloween-y also. And then because of the type of box I had, I'm going to be using a screwdriver to take the little front off. And then we'll need the little tools for um, the Cricut because you need all this to actually be able to use the Cricut and then last but not least I'm going to be using some hot glue alright y'all and some scissors so let's get oh yeah and a cutter I'm sorry I forgot about the cutter I am going to be using my little mini cutter you can use whatever you have I forgot I gotta cut the napkin with some so you can use whatever you need, but those are the tools I'm going to be using along with the paintbrush to paint and a sponge brush for the Mod Podge. So let's just jump right on in and get started. Alright y'all, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking this off of here and I'm going to save it because I can always use it on something else. So I'm just unscrewing the stuff. You can always add it to another piece to make it look 
more fancy. So. Go ahead and take this off. And I'm not too, too concerned about the holes because they're going to be covered, as you can see. So I'm not worried about those. I'm just going to go ahead and paint. I'm going to paint the whole thing outside, sides, top, bottom, and the inside just to give it a full look. We want it to be completely painted. I know I'm going to be Mod Podging in here, but I just want to make sure it looks nice. And yes, I could use a bigger brush, but I'm going to need a smaller brush for the edges, so that's why I picked this brush. And you just want to paint the whole thing. Now you can do this any way you want. I'm doing everything black. You can add orange if you want, or you can do other colors. If you have a theme going, you can do that. Let me make sure you see everything. So, don't feel just because it's Halloween you have to do it all in black. This is to my taste because I'm keeping this. Some people don't like spooky, so they don't do spooky. So, just remember that when you're doing this. It's to your taste. However you celebrate Halloween. Just like I celebrate Christmas, red and green, I celebrate Halloween, black and orange. It's, it's amazing what you can see, what you can find that you like and can replicate when you just go out and look at stuff. So just think about it. I mean, like I said, if there's something that you absolutely want and you're not sure how, let me know and I'll try to figure out a way to make, to craft it so that y'all can do it and y'all can have what y'all want without paying a pretty penny. I mean, of course, it's never going to look exactly like how they do it. But as long as it looks good and is close enough, that's all that matters. So. All right, see that beautiful black box? And now we're gonna do the whole, like I said, we're gonna do the whole thing. You want the key things to really stand out. That's why I'm doing it this way. I want the background to stand out, I want the words to stand out, and I want the numbers to stand out. So I'm doing everything black. That way the silver will pop out even more and be more noticeable.
Look at that. Completely black. That is one of the reasons why I like this paint so much. The Waverly. Because I haven't really had to do more than one coat on most things. It covers it very well. Alright, we're going to let it dry, then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, while it's drying, we're going to paint some of the edges, sides of the dies. I'm sorry, I can't think of what it's called. <laughs> And remember when you're doing this to cover as much of the area as you can. See, I just think it makes it look better. Let it dry. And then when it dries, you can finish painting the rest of it, and then we'll, we can move on. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is prepare your paper or whatever you're going to use. And I can't tell you the measurements because... Unless you're using the same one I'm using. So you just have to figure it out, but I will show you what I use, just to let y'all know. So... If you look at the, the halfway, I don't know these measurements, and then the one, the next big one, the one that's in the middle of those two is where my measurement is. I'm sorry, I don't know measurements. So you're going to use that, and then you're going to take your Mod Podge, and you're going to come in here, and you're going to Mod Podge the middle. Okay. 
And then you're going to take this and you're going to lay it in there as best you can and make sure you get it going the right direction. I'm pressing around all the edges just to make sure it's down and then I'm going to go back over it with some more Mod Podge to seal it. And I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to tear it up. It is a thin napkin. Paper would be a little bit more easy to protect. I'm just going to seal the whole thing because I've already got it to size and it'll just make it look better. You do not have to do this part if you can do the Mod Podge better than I can. So we got to wait for that to dry now and there it is I did all the way up to sides like I said because I'd already did some on the sides so we're just gonna let that dry and then we'll move on to the next step while we're drying while it's drying yeah so what I went ahead and did was I took and I figured out how big my days to Halloween needs to be and it was one and a half inches by one in that parameter so that's how I got that and my numbers need to be one by one so that's how I got this and what you're going to do for the numbers, you have to have 0 through 5 on one die. And on the other dice, you have to have 0, 1, 2, 6, 7, and 8. So that's how I came across that. And I think I missed this up. Yes, I did. Give me a second y'all. I cut that wrong so I'm going to have to cut again. And it came to about, I want to have a little space so I wanted to do three and a half by five. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut Give me a second y'all. I'm going to still use this. But I'm going to add some more to it and make sure it lines up. So. Make sure I can use this. This, um, sorry. This is one I got from the Dollar Tree. So I don't know, I might have used it too many times already. Sorry about that. So I had to go get a new mat because mine was old. I used the Dollar Tree one and it just wasn't staying on anymore. So I went and got a new one and I just added the extra piece down here to make up for the fact that I, I didn't cut it long enough because of this. So I have spread it out a little bit more as you can see. And now we're going to go on to the next part which is create. I 
hate when it changes what I'm doing. Let me just fix this real quick and then we'll move on. Alright, so I think I have it the way I want it, so I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And it's connecting to my joy. And so I'm putting permanent vinyl and then I'm loading my piece in there. Give me a second, y'all. So it loads in there and it's measuring it to make sure it's all right. And then we're going to go to go and cut. And then we just wait for it to cut and then we will move on to the next step all right so it's done and then you're just going to unload it when it does what I want it to do and you're going to go from there and you're going to check it before you finish out just to make sure everything is done right because you don't want it to be wrong so we're going to pull it off and go from there so hold on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the big vinyl piece off and make sure, ooh, my L came off with it. Make sure it all stays on there. My L decided to act up, so I'm going to try to salvage it. Give me a second, y'all. Oops. I'm dropping stuff. Alright. So I salvaged my L. Now I'm going to do the same with this to make sure that it is salvageable. I like to, um, I mean, good. I like to make sure that I cut off all the excess because you never know when you might need that small piece. So, you're just going to pull off this again. Give me a second, we'll check it. And then you're going to weed out all the extra stuff in between the letters and the numbers that you're not going to use. Just doesn't want to do what I want it to do. I'm just going to clean this up so that you can read everything the way you're supposed to. Oops, my circle ran away. being dead. Okay. 
get all this cleaned out. And then we'll move on to next. But it all worked out, so we're going to finish and move on. So I want to make sure the area is clean enough for what I want to do, so I'm putting this down. And you're going to want to go ahead and you're going to want to have cut out all the different things so they're by themselves. So you can do this. Move the camera a little. Alright, so I'm going to take my vinyl. Piece. I take my vinyl and I'm going to stick it over. I mean, not vinyl, I'm sorry, my tape. I stick it over the vinyl. And then I'm just going to go on there. And my D's a little off, but it'll be okay. Nothing I ever do is perfect. I gave up wishing for perfect a long time ago. So then you're going to pull it off and see if it worked. It almost worked. I almost got it. Alright. And then you're going to take it in here. And you're going to put it where you want it. And I want it in the top corner. I'm going to take my little stick thingy, my little whatever it's called, and run it across it. And make sure it all comes off. how people get it so to work so well for them. When I have nothing but problems. Just keep going until you get it. My H didn't go down. Alright. And there is my days to Halloween. I'm sorry you never really get to see it but it did work. So I'm gonna move on to the next. And that's gonna be the dice. So we're gonna start doing the dice. And I'm going to start with my zero.
and I'm going to stick it on there. And pull it off. Now, some of my paint's coming off, and I'm not worried about that. I can touch it up. I was not expecting that, but it'll be fun. So you just put it where you want it on the die and rub it on there and off it comes. And you're going to do that for all of them. So like I said, this is going to be zero through five. So that's what I'm doing right now. doing and like I said I'll go back with a small brush and touch up anything that the tape took off and it moved it. And you just put it however you want on here. It doesn't have to be perfect. I don't think it'll ever be perfect when I do it. Oops, see my four's a little crooked. That's six. Where's my five at? Oh no, I lost my five. There it is. Alright. So this is the last one for this one. So as you can see, one through five is on there. Sorry, I gotta find. <laughs> I'm having the hardest time turning it for y'all. And so this one's gonna be zero, one, two, six, seven, eight. And then, like I said, I will go back and fix it. Now you may have noticed that I am not putting a 9 and I will show you that later. As soon as I get all these on there I will show you why I'm not doing a 9 if you don't know.
I'm not getting new transfer tape because I don't want to peel any more paint off than I already have. So that's why I'm trying to use the same tape for all of these. Drop my six. Sorry, y'all. So I got two more to do, and then I will show you what it is, and then I will touch it up. Oops, that one didn't stick on it. Yay! Oops. <laughs> I was gonna put it aside, and I ain't even done with it yet, yo. So let me go ahead and show y'all, and then I will touch it up like I said. So, the reason why there is no nine is because you're going to do like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine. The six is also going to be the nine. And you're just going to keep going with the same thing. So because one through five is on here, you're going to do the one to the two. Just like that. And because there's only 31 days, you're not going to need to go past that. Okay, let me touch it up and then we'll finish. Alright, so for the last step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Mod Podge over the vinyl just because I want to make sure it's not going nowhere. And I normally would use a sponge brush, but I'm going to try something different. And I'm going to use just a regular paintbrush. Just to see how it works. And I'm going to do it for everything, just because I want to make sure that they don't come off. Now this is an extra step. Y'all do not have to do this if y'all are confident with y'alls. So I'm just going to let them dry and then I'll do all of it once it's dry. But I am very picky about my stuff. The vinyl's not supposed to come off. It's permanent vinyl, but I mean that means nothing to me because I've had some mishaps with my vinyl. 
So I like to do everything I can to ensure that it doesn't come off. And I mean, I could be understanding wrong, but to me, if it's permanent, it should not be coming off. It should be permanent. Now, I'll show y'all something in a second. Just give me one second. Okay, so while that dries, I'm going to show y'all something. If y'all look, my days till Halloween, I probably could have made a little bit bigger. I had actually wanted it more in this corner some more, but it did what it wanted to do. But I am still happy with it despite how small it is. So, I'm not complaining too much. Alright, so... So we gotta do the two, the five, and the one on this one. And please ignore that. That is my husband texting me. And this is a glossy one, so I might even go back through once it dries and do the little edges. I haven't decided. Just to make the whole dye glossy. I'm still debating on that. I probably will, because I like to make all my... I might even do the rest of that. Because I like to make all my stuff look the same. So if some of it's glossy and some of it's not, I don't think it looks as good as it could. We're going to let that dry. So we're going to do the last two of this. And I really think the Mod Podge helps protect it, so why not, right? Now I'm going to do the edges on this one. Make sure I get them all. Because I don't remember which ones I did. that dry and then we'll move on to the last step all right y'all now that this is dry we're gonna go ahead and add the top pieces now I am gonna still use super glue I mean hot glue but I wanted to do something to make sure my pieces stayed on so I'm gonna take for the pumpkin and I am going to put my flex glue on it 
to make sure it stays. Now for the others, I'm still gonna I'm gonna put flex glue also, but I'm gonna put some um, hot glue to help hold it better. Sorry. So let me go ahead and put my flex glue on here. This doesn't want to open the way I want it to. I'm going to open come out. So i got to force it out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the hot glue in the middle to help it stay on. There we go. And that's literally all you have to do for this project. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like and then we'll be done. This is the project. I am super happy with it. I think it came out looking great. I still got to let the flex glue dry but I just want to show y'all. I think it's amazing. I am super duper happy with how it came out. I hope y'all liked it. If y'all enjoyed this project, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below because it does help my channel grow. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye!